Hello and welcome to the next video in our Chameleon 20 series. This time we're going to take a look at more to do with the editor. But first I want to do just a little bit of review. I've taken the liberty of creating a file that just contains the first verse of the Star Spangled Banner. So um, what I can do is if I needed to save this file, there's two options I have. I can save or I can save as. Because I haven't previously saved this file and it doesn't have a file name, I'm going to have to save as. So in order to do that, I'm going to press a backspace with the letter S. Okay, and then it's going to give me an option. It's going to um, say file um, name and I need to stick the cursor again with these two little brackets here. So I'm going to save it as just star. And I'm going to press enter or dot eight and it says saved. So my file is now saved and it's uh, saved as star. So in order, if I wanted to just save it after I made changes, it would be a space plus S. Let's take a look at this file and we're gonna talk a little bit about what it means to be in read mode. Um, the reading mode is the mode that does not allow you to make any corrections. So if, for example, you have downloaded a book and you want to read through it, or if you have something that you accidentally don't want to edit or you're proofreading it, you can put it into read mode. Read mode is a toggle, and that means the same thing that turns it on turns it off. So we're going to do a space plus the letter X, and it says read mode set. So now I'm in read mode. I can't make an edit, so I'm going to try really hard so I don't see a cursor even. So I'm going to try putting it over here, and here's the cursor. Good. Oh, it is It is there. And I'm going to try editing, so I'm pressing space, nothing. So nothing I do will change this file until I do a space plus the letter X again to turn that reading mode off. So now let's go to the top and see if I can edit. I want to just put it in the very first cell and see if I can. Yep, and I can put my spaces in. So that's what um, read mode is. It's very useful. It's very, uh, very good for if you just need to read a book or to proofread a file, things like that. The next thing we're going to take a look at is auto scroll. Auto scroll is a feature that allows the braille display to scroll forward one braille display length. And it can be activated in either the editor or the read mode uh, section. So that kind of helps. To start auto scroll, you're going to press enter plus dots one, two, four, five, six. And that's an ER sign. And it's kind of interesting that neither the words auto or scroll have an ER sign. So it's kind of hard to use that as a mnemonic device. But um, enter does. So it's enter and the ER sign or dots one, two, four, five, six. You can stop auto scroll at any time just by pressing um, any key. And if you want to speed it up or slow it down, um, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Dot three will um, slow it down with enter. So enter plus dot three. To speed it up is enter plus dot six. So I'm just going to kind of uh, start the auto scroll here. You probably won't be able to see it, and but you might be able to hear it advance. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It's just advancing the display. Okay, I can make it go a little faster or a little slower. So I'm pressing a, uh, just a space to make it stop. So now I'm gonna to go to the top of the file again with a space plus one, two, three. That's one, two, three. Um, and I'm at the beginning of the file. And again, I can tell because I have this sort of bracket, opening bracket area. So now I'm going to start auto scroll and I'm going to slow it down a little. Well, actually, no, I'm going to speed it up. Come to think of it because it was pretty slow already. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. So enter plus one, two, four, five, six. Yep. And I'm going to go ahead with enter plus six to speed it up. One, zip, zip. And see if you can hear it, it's a little faster. And we're just going to go ahead and stop. So wherever I stop it, um, the auto scroll, it will stop at that point in the braille. And you can continue panning with your panning keys like you normally would. 
In our next video, we're going to take a little bit of a deeper look into the editor itself that will allow you to delete a character, delete a word, move around a little bit with a little more fluidity than just using the cursor routing keys. So I'm looking forward to that. So um, we will see you next time.